I think it looks tacky. I think it looks trashy. I don't see anything wrong with main character syndrome. I do not see anything wrong with the tripod boys. I cannot stand seeing people with Stanley Cups at the gym. And I'm talking about those damn blonde wigs that some of y'all be wearing in uniform. Y'all be looking a mess. Can we leave stay at home dads alone? Hey Vettel Bays, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Andrea. In today's video, I am filming my very first Unpopular Opinions video. Nobody asked for it, but I feel like I have opinions and they matter just like everybody else's. So, I'm filming an Unpopular Opinions video. I'm in my living room, sitting on my floor, getting ready to do my nails again. Yes, we are um, about to redo my nails. My DIY dip powder. Like, Y'all, I'm true to it. I'm sticking to it. This year, I'm trying my hardest to stay out of the salons. I spend way too much money on my nails as it is. So I bought a kit so I can do this myself and get really good at it. Anyway, disclaimer. Disclaimer, because I know y'all notice. Yes, I have some acne medication on my face because I woke up completely broken out this morning. Mm, completely broken out this morning. <laughs> and it's so crazy because I'm like, I knew my face felt itchy, but it's my fault. I guess all the stress from yesterday rolled over into my skin today because yeah, I woke up, broke out all over the place. I was red and everything. So I cleaned my face really well. I didn't even moisturize yet because I wanted to do like Medicaid first. So then after this video or some point in this video, cause I'm not going to stay like this the whole time. I'm not gonna say like this the whole time but um yes at some point in this video i'm gonna go and wash this all off probably around the time i wash my hands but yeah let's get into the actual nail part so i ordered a bunch of stuff off amazon so i'm able to do my own dip powder at home this is what i'm working with now this was the first set if you watched my mm, yeah, maintenance day. If you watch my maintenance day vlog, then you know that I bought a bunch of stuff so I can kind of do everything at home by myself so I can save money. I'm not doing that well when it comes to doing my nails, but I'm getting better. Like this was like the third time around I did it. This one fell completely off. These start cracking, the paint start peeling, cool, whatever. It is what it is, practice makes perfect. So while i'm giving you guys my unpopular opinion on certain things that really don't matter to a lot of people and it shouldn't but i still have an opinion on it i'm going to be doing my nails so i'm going to start by soaking these bad boys off i bought this little cup that i soak my nails in um from amazon and so i'm going to be using that last time i used the blue acetone but this time around i'm going to be using this one because i want to test out both just to see how they both work so i'm going to be using this um, I bought this carrying light. I bought this carrying light off of Amazon as well. I'm gonna be completely honest. I want to get a different one because this doesn't work as well as I would like it to. I'm used to the nail salon where you can just put your hand in, do the quick 90 seconds or 60 seconds, whatever the case may be, take it out and it's dry. With this one, because I guess it's a little cheaper, it's not made for professionals or anything like that. You have to put your hand in there and hit that 90 seconds like probably three or four different times and then you have to kind of like angle your hand kind of weird and that's just what I've learned so far using it and on top of that it doesn't have a bottom so I have to sit it on top of something that way whatever's on like the floor or like the carpet the tape whatever I'm using is not getting in my nails because I was running into that issue too so we're using that and then I have this what is this the Melody Susie I bought a electric filer so I'm going to be using that as well and all of this dip powder, which honestly is not the best because it wasn't even this, the, the dip powder in here is not even true to color, which kind of upsets me. Um, but yeah, we're going to be using all of this stuff. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get everything set up, get everything ready. So, um, one second. So the first thing I put on the list for my unpopular opinion is nipple piercing showing through the shirts. Now, don't get me wrong, I have my fair share of having my nipple piercings showing through my shirt, showing through my bra, stuff like that, cool. But I kid you not, some of the settings that I'm seeing some of these girls come in with their nipple piercings blasting, blaring through their shirts on top of having like super big hard nipples is ridiculous at this point. Like job interview, Really? That's that's how you decided to come in here with your nipple showing 
just like that through your shirt. Come on. Seriously, you know when you have to take off your um your top four UAs, I kid you not, I saw some chick. It's like she probably had on a sports bra or something like that because I feel like if you have a bra with some padding in it, you're not going to be able to see that. No, she had the, the, the heart nipple ring thing and you can just see it through the shirt. I feel like at a certain point, it's like, why? Like, why do you need to do that? In certain settings, okay, cool. But all the time, you feel like it's necessary for people to know that you have nipples like every single day, like every day, every time, any, any place you go. It doesn't make sense to me. Quite frankly, if you've gotten to a certain age, I just feel like you shouldn't be doing that anymore. That's just my opinion. I just feel like it's inappropriate for some people. Like if you are a mother, like my son's 13 years old, you will not catch me walking around with my 13 year old son with a tight ass white shirt with my nipples showing through the shirt. You're not, you're not, you're not, it's no. I have a six year old daughter and the way I present myself, well, the way I used to present myself, it really took a little bit for me to adjust to the thought of, would you even want a Mia walking around like this? Like, is this something that you would, is, is this a way that you will want to see your daughter presenting herself? It's not. So it's time for me to be a role model. So y'all actually took my nipple piercings out. Consider getting them later on down the line. Cause don't get me wrong. It's probably a little contradictory, but I, I still plan on getting my boobs done. Plan on getting my boobs done. After breastfeeding two kids and possibly eventually in the future breastfeeding another, I am getting my boobs done once everything is said and done and I cannot wait. And like I said, don't get me wrong. If that's your look, if that's what you want to go for, if that's what you like to do, cool. Cool. This is just my opinion. Just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt, if you will. But I just don't like the way it looks. I think it looks tacky. I think it looks trashy. <laughs> Next topic. I should have bought two bowls so I'm able to like do both my hands at the same time. But oh well, it's fine. Okay, hold on. Let me use something else because that is going to take forever. And one thing that I do, well, that I'm starting to learn to do, I'll, I'll find my flavor. I'll get adjusted to my own routine at eventually. But I'm trying my hardest to use the most thinnest layer of the acrylic that I can. Because one thing that I couldn't stand when I go to the nail salon is they would always make my nails super bulky. And even when I look at it and I'm like, hey, that's a little too thick, they still only shave it down just a little bit. And I could not stand that. I hate my nails bulky. I don't see anything wrong with main character syndrome. I don't. I don't see anything wrong with it. Hey, look, hey, y'all complain about everything. Y'all are upset at people for literally doing nothing. They're not doing anything wrong. Okay, all right. So you see a, a chick or some guy sitting off in a co coffee shop and they're sipping on their coffee and they're looking around and they're doing one of these probably and look like, okay. If they want to be in their own little fairy tale television show, movie, whatever. Leave them alone. As long as they're not bothering anyone, I don't see what the problem is. If it's not the content for you, keep scrolling. Just keep scrolling. And the same with the, um, what are they called now? The, the tripod boys. I don't see anything wrong with them. I do not see anything wrong with the tripod boys. Give them the goddamn tripods back and leave them alone. Leave them alone. Because they're not doing anything wrong. They are literally basic people being basic showing the basic things that they do they're not disturbing anyone they're not doing any type of harmful hurtful pranks to anyone they're not doing anything wrong and y'all are mad at it nine times out of ten from what i notice these people go out of their way to either go to like for example let's back it up for example the guy that everybody complains over the target guy the target guy with the drake music in the background with the tripod i feel like he's either going to the grocery store late at night or early in the morning just so he can vo avoid all the people nine times out of ten he's in his crib getting ready maybe he'll stop off and get some gas and y'all are mad now yes it's a trend now but why are y'all mad main character syndrome he has main character syndrome he want to be the main character so bad and what is that what is that to you why do you care so much that he wants to be the main character now don't get me wrong let's go ahead and back it up because there are some that i cannot stand i.e the chicks the, the 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 chicks that go in public in a very crowded place and you do something absolutely obnoxious and unnecessary and you're like either holding up traffic or you're just disrupting 
mundane day-to-day -day people because you want what exactly like the i saw some black chick with an afro she had like a dashiki dress on doing some crazy ass dance in the middle of the road a busy ass street the light is green these people trying to be like <laughs> these people are rushing to work but because you needed to get the TikTok, TikTok, Instagram likes the views, you decided that you wanted to wait. You purposely waited for the light to say, okay, the light is red. Do not walk. You decided to go in the middle of the crosswalk and start doing a little dance. Like, and make it make sense. Imagine somebody running late for work and he got to call his boss like, you won't believe this. Some chick is literally dancing in the middle of the street right now. So the traffic has been held up for like 20 minutes. Like those are the people that I can't stand or the, don't get me wrong, the tripod guys who now they're just showing a little too much, doing the absolute most. Those are the ones that I can't stand. Because why the fuck do you got to show your whole entire balls and penis print just to show us you getting ready? Like it doesn't make sense to me. Like it's so unnecessary and it's so like low key is gross to me. I'm off it, but as far as main character syndrome, I don't see anything wrong with it because if you think about it logically, these people are making content. They're making content based off their lens. They're either making content based off their day, like a day in my life, a, come with me to the grocery store, come with me to put gas in my car. They're, they're filming this based off their lens and their lens only. So if you are doing and making something that is dedicated or based off you, wouldn't you be the main character in that piece of whatever, in that piece of content, in that piece of art, in that clip? Wouldn't you be the main character? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to, to say, oh, you have main character syndrome talking about a clip that is based off the individual that's posting it. So that's not main character syndrome. That's just literally a person making some fucking a clip of something and everybody gets mad at it. Like every single time I click on those videos, I go to the person that left the, the, the shitty comment to these individuals. And nine times out of 10, you have a video similar. You have a reel or a TikTok similar on your own page about you. I tell you, it's something about them goddamn kettles. Anyway, we're making it somewhere, y'all. Making it somewhere. I'm so glad because I bought this big ass pack of um, filers because if you're doing this, you gon' you gonna need it. I still listen to R. Kelly. I know. Please don't don't click off. Wait. Just give me a chance. Give me a chance to explain. I feel like R. Kelly. One. I do not support what this man has done whatsoever at all. You know at all. But we can't deny the fact that he made some damn good music. He made some amazing. Robert R. Kelly, I feel like he is the perfect example of you separate the artist from the art. Because I kid you not, I still want to step in the name of love, okay? Y'all don't remember that. If I could turn, turn back the hands of time. That song used to always put me in my feelings. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to be rude, but hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you. The way you do the things you do reminds me of my Lexus cool. That's why I'm all up in your grill, trying to get to the hotel. You must be a football coach, the way you got me playing field. Baby, give me that too, too. Let me give you that beep, beep. <laughs> And we not gonna act like that freaking same girl is not still a bop, okay? Yo, Ush, what up, Kels? Wanna introduce you to this girl? Think I really love this girl, yeah. Man, she's so fine, straight up dog. She stand about five, four, Coca-Cola, red foam, damn. Come on now. She drives a black Durango, license plate say angel, tattoo her on her ankle. Like I said, I'm not defending what he did because it's actually quite disgusting, but I grew up on R. Kelly. I grew up with R. Kelly. I have people in my family who went to school and was good friends with R. Kelly, okay? And look, I don't know. 
all I'm saying is, yeah, he did what he did and it's absolutely disgusting and there's no excuse for it. But we're not going to sit here and act like his music wasn't still amazing. Because that would be the equivalent to some dude coming up to some chick like, hey, damn, baby, let me get your number. You fine as hell. Da -da 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 -da. And you say, no, I'm married. Get out my damn face. Or, no, I'm not interested. Get out my face. And then he turned around and said, you ugly damn too, you whack ass, bald head, bitch. It's the equivalent to that. And we can't be that because that's giving broke dusty ass dude energy. We're not doing that. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, so I am done with that. Time to soak my next hand. Next unpopular opinion, and this isn't so um this isn't so much. Oh, that's things. I got another cut. It's not that bad. But this popular opinion is probably not a popular opinion to the military population. But for the civilians who feel that you can be little and talk down on and all these other things simply because you feel like people in the military make too much money because we get benefits, um, military healthcare is a fucking joke. There's no point in having free healthcare if it's very crappy healthcare. Do y'all not understand the lengths and the hoops and the hurdles we have to jump through just to get imaging that is necessary, that is actually needed to diagnose certain injuries? Starting off, you would think this is the military. This is the United States military. We fight, cause I'm in the army. We fight for the country. We swore in and we put our hands up and we swore to protect this country from all threats, foreign and domestic. We have to have the best healthcare, right? Tip top. They want to make sure we are taken care of and we are in the best shape possible. So our healthcare has to be outstanding. Wrong. It's free. And you can tell you, you, well, you know, you know, you know, that whole saying, like you get what you pay for. That's it. That's it. You would think our healthcare in the military came from Timu because it's that damn subpar. So finding someone that is superior or actually goes above and beyond when it comes to your healthcare, good luck. Good luck. Because nine times out of 10, those are the doctors and those are the practitioners. Those are the PAs and stuff that get out of the military because they know they can stand on their two feet outside of the military. I had a PA when I used to want to be a PA. I tried to do the um, IPAP program. I had my PA. He was a major at the time when I was on Fort Stewart and I was shadowing him for about six months. And he told me, keep this in mind, the PAs, they can make so much money out of the military and they know that. So a lot of the PAs come in, they they work, they do their thing, and then they ETS out. Cool. The ones that stay for years and years on and past retirement, no, they can't cut it on the outside. Because you can make all the mistakes you want in the military because it's not like we can sue. It's not like they're going to get fired. All they have to do is some come up with some bullshit-ass excuse on why they why this malpractice complaint because you can't sue or anything like that it's not like you can charge them why this complaint is coming up they just have to make up some simple ass excuse and everything is gone away like oh well he tried so obviously they're going to stay in the military subpar as conditions for example back injuries because we have a bunch of back injuries you have to literally they give you an x-ray they say oh nothing's on x-ray let's go ahead and do physical therapy you do physical therapy and you're like yo i still hurt and actually it's worse oh act yeah okay let's go through some more physical therapy no because it's, it's it's still pretty damn painful after the end of that physical therapy all right let's go to pain management and then let's do physical therapy again no it's nothing's helping all right i guess we can go ahead and give you an mri only to find that you have all kinds of bulging discs and herniated discs that they could have literally diagnosed way before. Juana Iquata syndrome. Am I saying that right? That shit is real. That's all I'm saying. Just because we get free healthcare does not mean a damn thing if it's not quality healthcare. Apple juice is better than orange juice. That's it. I said it. That's the unpopular opinion. Apple juice is better than orange juice and it will always be superior to orange juice. Period. Don't get me wrong, I like orange juice. I like orange juice, orange juice is good. But when it comes to apple juice, if I have to choose between the two, I'm gonna choose apple juice. It's just something about it. I don't know what it is. That's it, that's the unpopular opinion. Argue with yourself. Okay, y'all, I am back. I had to go and get situated real quick. I ended up cleaning, well, I finished up getting the acrylic off my nails and I just went and washed my hands. I had to clean up my cuticle areas, but I also, 
obviously I washed the junk off my face I did my hair just a little bit I changed uh, into my gym clothes obviously because once I'm done with this I'm about to go to the gym um, I think I mentioned that earlier but I since I'm finally about to get to the point where while well, I'm at the point I'm about to go ahead and do my dip um I decided I would change speaking of the gym y'all that brings me to my next unpopular opinion and that is uh, Stanley cups at the gym Stanley really Stanley cups at the gym I cannot stand seeing people with Stanley cups at the gym it's bad enough that all of this nonsense is going on with like Stanley cups as it is but it's something about seeing them in the gym that drives me crazy because one they're not leak proof say what you want they're not leak proof and there has been a few spill a few spills a few spills why am i saying few right why do i feel like that's wrong there's been a few spills at the gym as it is and every single woman you see in a gym at this point got a stanley cup and it's just the weirdest thing because i'm like i don't know i'm just used to taking my freaking pink cup with my pre-workout shake it up get a little bit of that every so often but nine times out of ten i have a water bottle that you know just a regular water bottle propel water bottle and i'll just chug throw that bitch real quick and just do what i gotta do but with all these people with these stanley cups and not only do they have the stanley cups y'all is okay y'all remember the bbl effect the bbl effects i feel like there's a stanley cup effect because is it just me or every person that you see walk around the gym anyway the gym actually i've seen it in other places but since i see so many women at the same time congregated together with stanley cups at the gym i see it more often there and i see how common the characteristics of these individuals are together the way they walk around like the way they just move and it's just like the way they turn their nose up to people and just look it's it's okay let me show y'all it's like this let's say this is a stanley cup you just got done doing a set right you got to pick up the stanley cup or when they decide to get up and they're walking through they're walking through the gym to the next whatever they're going to do it's like it's almost as if the, they are probably hearing some type of like um, background music in their heads. Like they have a theme song. Obviously they have the headphones in, but are you, do you feel like you're in a movie right now? Like it, it, it's, it's weird. And then a lot of them are honestly, honestly, I'm not trying to go there, but a lot of them are rude as fuck period a lot of them are rude as hell and it pisses me off so bad because i remember yesterday y'all this was yesterday i was in the gym i was talking to trey about this on the phone because i was so pissed off on my way back i said what is with these snooty prissy bougie ass bitches in the gym with the stanley cups getting in the way like of people actually trying to work out it was crazy and obviously it's not all of them it's not all of them but i'm sitting there and i'm doing some romanian deadlifts right doing my deadlifts and i'm at a point in my working out regimen where i'm lifting a little bit heavier you know i'm lifting a little bit heavier so i got about 80 pounds that i'm doing this with you know cranking them out my 10 10 four reps of 10 okay cool i kid you not this bitch with this damn stanley cup she comes right next to me you see me doing this rep she goes around me and she's holding this fucking cup it probably had nothing to do with the cup and everything to do with her but because she had a cup i'm blaming it on the fucking cup and the goddamn stanley cup effect anyway i'm sitting there down there and i'm doing this rep and she squeezed around the damn bar that i was holding brushing up against it and so it's bad enough like my this hand is weaker than the other i'm I, i'm this is like my third rep i'm already at muscle failure and she decides to squeeze around bumping into the damn bar that i'm lifting and then she looks at me like i'm the fucking problem I, like out of all the different ways you could have went to get what it is that you're trying to get you decide to come over here so i just had to sit the bitch down and i'm sitting there pissed off because now i just lost all momentum to finish this goddamn set but i have to finish anyway and i'm looking at her and she didn't have a care in the fucking world she didn't have a care in the world i'm sorry i'm cussing so much on this part but i was so mad i was so mad because it's bad enough the music that i'm playing in my ear got me feeling like a fucking beast got me feeling like a goddamn killer i'm ready for anybody to try it but you want to play with me too i need to start listening to better music because i'm telling you i'll be in that bitch like i wish a motherfucker would. 
good come fuck with me I'm just waiting for somebody to say something, y'all. My music be having me going crazy. But no, I'm just saying. I just cannot stand seeing the Stanley Cup at the gym. And I already know I'm about to go to the gym right now and I'm about to see so many fucking people in there with that goddamn Stanley Cup. As far as the color that I'm about to be using, I'm about to use this 496. And it's supposed to be this super light tan-ish, like nude color. Um, again, I think I said it before, but the colors that came with this set, let me see if I can show y'all this. So this is the set that I ended up getting from Amazon, this brand. And the colors are not true to what it has on the paperwork. Uh, well, the paper that it came with is not true to the pictures on Amazon. It's not true to any of that. So I'm just hoping that this actually comes out to be the new color that I want. And if it doesn't, I have this well this is the color but this is not the gel polish one so i have this gel polish that i'll just go ahead and put on top of it y'all can't even see that y'all see it now yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and put this gel polish on top and just have pink nails so wish me luck i'm about to go ahead and start on this now a lot of y'all about to hate me and a lot of y'all about to be mad just because something says you can do something doesn't mean you should do it. And I'm talking about those damn blonde wigs that some of y'all be wearing in uniform. Y'all be looking a mess. Y'all be looking a goddamn mess and y'all know y'all be looking a mess. And if y'all don't know y'all, y'all be looking a mess, you obviously don't have friends because they should be telling you that you look a mess. I understand AR670-1 changed. And it says that you can wear any color that is a natural hair color. It does not have to be natural to yourself. It can just be a natural color. So whether or not that's a redhead, a blonde, a brunette, whatever the case may be, you can wear that color. Here's the thing. Some of y'all, first of all, platinum blonde is not a natural hair color. Nobody here is platinum blonde. So I need y'all to stop with that nonsense. Go find somebody else to pull that shit with. Secondly, y'all be wearing these lace fronts, right? Y'all be wearing lace fronts. And like I said, don't get mad at me. This is just my unpopular opinion. But y'all be wearing these lace fronts. Y'all lace and shit be showing. It be so gunked up with makeup and glue. It be flipped up sometimes. The hair is never brushed out. One thing that I always notice about these damn blonde wigs that y'all be wearing. They do not be brushed out at all. Y'all have it pulled up in a bun, but then you see all your little nappy hairs and stuff coming out back here. Sometimes this part be lifted up. You have it so slicked down with so much glue, it just don't look right. So y'all sit there and when somebody say something to y'all like, hey, you need to fix your hair, y'all automatically go to, oh, this is in a regulation and you're being racist because I should be able to wear this and it says this. No, because some of us do, I'm telling you, I had it happen to me. I'm an NCO for the soldiers. I promise y'all that I am. But if I see that you look in a mess, I'm going to say something. If I see that you're out of regulation, I'm going to say something. So no, me personally, when I corrected this individual, and I'm pretty sure other NCOs that had to correct these individuals will say the same thing. I'm not correcting you on the color. No, I'm letting you know that you look unprofessional and you look unkempt. You look unkempt. You need to fix that shit. All this glue and stuff up here. Your hair looks like a rat's nest like you didn't even do it. You got all your little beady beads and stuff. You just, you, uh, you don't look right. You don't look right. A lot of y'all do not wear, do, a lot of y'all need this. Just stop. And I'm going to also take it a little bit further. I'm going to take just, <clears throat> just, <clears throat> just a little bit further. Certain shades aren't for everybody's skin tone. And that's okay. Don't get me wrong. Like I've seen so many different shades, different darker shades rock the blonde hair, but it's the way that you tweak the hair, the way that you tint the hair, the way that you actually treat and care for the hair is what's going to make or break you. And a lot of y'all think just because the regulation said one thing, all right, that I'm about to go and get this blonde hair and I'm about to plop it on my head and that's going to end all be all and you looking a mess. You look, you, mm-hmm. You looking a mess. You looking real. And it's so crazy because the way the attitude that a lot of y'all are, and I'm saying this about a lot of the newer, younger soldiers coming in, but a lot of y'all, the way y'all take criticism is absolutely ridiculous. So it's to the point, don't nobody even want to say nothing to y'all no more. Lace fronts, I, I wore one one time. I wore one one time. 
Mm-mm-mm. And the, the the lace didn't didn't match. And I was ashamed because anytime I had to go and talk to my commander, because I worked very close with my commander at the time, y'all, he would just, I would see him staring like his eyes would leave my eyes and go up. And all I could think about is I know he looking at this damn lace. And I knew I looked a mess. That's how I know y'all know y'all look a mess. Because I knew I looked a mess. But I mean, I can't just snatch this shit off my head. It's like glued and, and, and sewn down and stuff like that. So I, I have to wait for the weekend to fix it. And uh, yeah. That, that was a rant, but all I'm saying is, y'all need to stop. Y'all know better. If y'all, like, I get it, y'all want to try to blind out, cool, but at least do your due diligence or at least go to somebody of quality work because some of y'all just be doing, mm, y'all be looking a mess. That's all. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to get off y'all. I'm going to get off y'all. These are my nails so far. I just finished doing my first, uh, first and second dip on both. I'm trying to see if I want to re-dip this one because, I don't know. I think I'm gonna just ride with it. Anyway, um, I'm just waiting for this to harden up so I can go ahead and start shaping it. But my next unpopular opinion is engagement ring. I forgot to put my ring back on, hold on. <sighs> y'all know that's my favorite piece of jewelry. Anyway, um, engagement ring shaming, y'all. I thought we was past this, I won't lie. <sighs> hold on. Wow, my nails are drying, well hardening. I want to eat some of my yogurt that I haven't started eating yet. Told y'all about this one too. This is the We Dairy Free Yogurt. And I like the dairy free one because it's not as heavy as the, um, I mean, the original. I don't know. Anyway, engagement ring shaming is so damn stupid. It's so childish and it makes no sense at all. First of all, it is 2024 and engagement ring shaming. I thought we were past that. I thought we were past that. I thought we were all grown up. I thought we all kind of understood living within your means and doing things that makes you happy and just accepting and buying things that you like. So why is it that here we are at this big ass age, we are still talking down on people because the type of rings that they buy for their soon to be significant other, their soon to be spouse, whatever the case may be, you guys are still talking shit about rings. I saw some post and it was a it was a particular type of ring and um the dude under the post was basically like if he proposed to the if he pro on, on the video he's like if you if he proposed to you with the ring that looks like this you better say no you better run far away and this and that and blah 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 why? It's a ring. And then you have so many people under the comment like, no, nah, because this is this is um the bare minimum. This is unacceptable. And why would you? I don't want to say it's the thought that counts because a lot of people take that and run with it. Like, okay, I can do the bare minimum, but it's the thought that counts. At least I thought about it. No, but what if this was all he could afford? What if this is what sh all she could afford? What if the individual that is receiving the ring, what if this is the ring that they actually like? What if they actually like this ring? I don't understand why strangers care so much that they have to bash strangers on the internet simply because they like something that's differently from you or they're doing something that's differently from you. It makes no sense to me at all. But then on the flip side, you have people saying, well, if that's all he could afford, his last priority should be trying to um, propose because he can't afford a wife anyway because he bought, hold on, let, let's back it up. Let's come here, come here, come here. Because he couldn't afford an expensive ring, he can't afford a wife. That's all that, that that's all that matters to y'all, right? That's all that matters to y'all and it makes no sense to me at all. It makes no sense to me at all. You have people out here that are getting married, that are getting proposed to with nothing at all. It's the love and it's the commitment to each other that matters. Y'all sit here and y'all say, oh, well, your ring should cost at least 3,000, 5,000, 6,000, 10, th why? No, seriously, why? All because somebody decided to post a ring and show off how happy they are that their person has chosen them to be their wife, their wife for the rest of their life 
y'all sit there and y'all telling y'all bashing this woman saying oh no nah, mm -mm, i can't believe you say yes i can't believe you accepted that this and that that's that's diamond dust and this and that and blah 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 what if she liked the ring because apparently when i looked at it it's just a woman who just got proposed to she loves her ring she literally said it in the comments it's the most beautiful thing she's ever seen and y'all bash that woman mm. Mm -mm -mm. and you want to know the even crazier part most of you shit talking bitter ass bitches ain't even engaged. And most of y'all single as fuck. But y'all have the audacity to be bashing a woman who found her king, who found the man of her dreams. He actually saw the value in her that he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and lock this down because I need this for the rest of my life. When it got her a ring that she liked, got on one knee, had this whole beautiful presentation and everything. And y'all say, mm, that ring girl, mm -mm. can we stop that? Can we stop that? Because we have so many people. It's, it's, it's way too many unnecessary expectations, especially when you have the younger generation looking at us, right? Now, all of a sudden, you got fucking 16 years old, 16, 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds thinking that their high school ass boyfriend that got a part time job working at McDonald's. Now they got these type of women thinking that, oh, yeah, my man got to buy me a Birkin to propose for me and my ring better be at least five carats. And if he didn't spend at least 10,000 on my ring, I'm going to say no. And he better have three helicopters flying over us, spelling out, will you marry me on like. Can we just stop? The proposal shaming, the ring shaming, the like, just stop. Mind your business. But if you're happy for them, be happy for them. But again, you can keep scroll. You can keep scrolling. And I'ma just have to add this in there one more time. If your ass is single and you're not even engaged, shut up. Just, shh, just. Shh. Be quiet because you couldn't even find somebody that sees the worth in you to put a ring on your damn finger, but you trying to bash somebody up. Listen, um, let's see. Stay at home dads. Can we leave stay at home dads alone? So it's not that this ties into the last thing, like with the whole engagement ring, but the concept is still there that what works for you may not work for someone else. And just because someone else is doing it doesn't mean that it have to work for you. And I do not understand why that's something I always have to repeat. I'm telling y'all. So I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram or not, but if you follow me on Instagram, you will notice, first of all, let's back up. Why aren't you following me on Instagram? That's the question. That's the question. That's the question we need to be asking right now. Why aren't you following me on Instagram? Especially if you're a girly, cause I, my goal is to get more of a female audience this year. And so far, y'all, I am doing great. I am doing well. I don't know what my percentage or whatever was when I first made my goals video wanting a more female audience, but it's grown. And I am ecstatic. I am happy. And I am so glad to see y'all over there underneath the comments. Listen, y'all under my comments, because I have so many men that would come in sometime and want to bash me and stuff like that. Cool. But my girlies out there doing the Lord's work. It's to the point your girl don't even have to step in and defend myself anymore because my girls got my back. And I need y'all on my team. So go ahead and follow me on over on go, go over there. Over on Instagram. Go follow me. Go follow me right now. Pause this. Go follow me and then come back and push play and finish the video. Okay. So I had mentioned in the comment section, obviously, you know, I'd be strolling through the comment section just to see how everybody doing. If everybody's comfortable, you know, do you need anything? Cool. I'd be engaging a little bit and I was having a discussion and I think I mentioned something about, um, I want my husband to be a stay at home husband. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. Me and him, we've talked about this because at the end of the day, as of right now, the dynamic with me and my husband. Even though we are living separately, thank God we're going to be together sooner than rather than later. I'm so excited. Anyway, when my husband supports me, every single thing he do, and I'm pretty sure y'all can tell that in my content and by the things that I post, uh, the thing like my husband's support for me is unmatched by anything that I've ever had in my entire life. 
So me getting through this whole schooling process, me going for my goals and my dreams and doing the things that I want, he supports me so much. And I love him so much for that because if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have the mindset again that I have. I share with you guys, but as far as everything that I have going on, my goals, my ambitions, and like just, just what I'm up to, I don't share everything. But as far as the trajectory of my goals, and the things that I'm, you know, putting into play and the things that I'm working on, within a few years, me or him, we're not gonna have to work if we don't want to. But with that being said, I love my job. I love being a medical provider. I love being an RT. I love being a nurse. I love my job. I love my profession. So even if I don't have to do it, I'm gonna do it anyway because it's my passion. It's something that I love to do. And if I'm in a position where I can take care of all this shit, and if my husband want to sit back and take a few, take, hell, take a year off if you want to, after the hard work that you put in behind me and behind my family and you feel like, I, I got it, I got it. And when I get there, you feel like you want to just step back and kick your feet up, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. I got it. Don't worry about it. Not only do I have it, I'm actually liking this shit that I'm doing. I mentioned that and of course you have some of the girlies some of the, some of and i'm telling you if you a nurse if you a nurse you know exactly what i'm talking about because we got it we got it but um so obviously i had a few of the girlies that agreed like girl i'm just waiting for the moment i'm waiting for the moment that i can retire my husband because he's done this 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 and that for me and he deserves it and that's another thing that goes into people bashing stay-at-home dads is y'all think just just like women complain and say what well, rightfully so though rightfully so they complain rightfully so when people say that they're not doing anything at home they're too, they're too busy relaxing and this and that and they get to stay home when they're pleading their case like no this is hard work i'm taking care of the house and i'm taking care of the kids and i'm doing this and i'm doing that this is hard work it's the same for the men so everybody is too busy paying attention to the fact that oh no he's going to be sitting at home doing nothing no he's not no he's not and let's put it this way. Let's say the kids grow up and he do get to stay at home and do nothing. Do y'all feel like men don't deserve that? I'm, I'm so confused. When it comes to living a soft life and when it, when it comes to living a, a, a life of ease, pampering, and just peace, do y'all feel like men don't deserve that? At least sometimes, at least temporarily, at some point, do y'all not think they deserve that? It doesn't make sense. So that's where a lot of the hate in that comment was coming from, from a lot of guys talking about nah because if he allow you to work and he's sitting at home he a pussy or he's weak or see that's what i'm talking about or talking about me talking about oh i see the type of woman you are you think you can wear the pants in the house and this and that no i don't under this roof he is a king period but it was so many people bashing the idea me and all these other women who understand we get where each other coming from it was so many people bashing the idea of us working in our men being at home taking care of home and that was so weird to me because then you have all these young ass females or all these entitled ass women coming in like nah because i'm not gonna do anything my man that's lazy and i would never work if my man sitting out that's you i'm sorry y'all i just cannot i just hate i hate trying to have intellectual like open conversation like actual debate with people who can understand that people have differences in opinions and just because you don't agree with this one or they don't agree with this don't mean that you're wrong don't mean that they're wrong you just need to understand and be open-minded enough to see that everybody has differences in opinions and not get upset or feel like you are being personally attacked because i feel this way anyway can we just leave stay at home dads alone? Because I don't think, I really think that that there is a, a place, there is value in having a man that can be at home and take care of home and do what he needs to do, especially when it involves you being able to do the things that you wanna do and have your passion and stuff like that. Because I'ma tell you right now, all the stay at home dads I know, they're not just sitting at home and I know a lot. They're not just sitting at home. They either have a part-time job. They either have a business that they own. They either ha they have something else going on that generates money. They just get to relax and sit back a little bit and have a little bit more off time than they're used to having. And I think that men deserve that sometimes. 
but that's just me so these are my nails so far and you probably can barely see them but i promise these are actually way better than the first few times i did it and i'm just about to go ahead and buff everything out so i can put my clear coat on do i want to do that yet is there anything else because there's still okay let's just buff it out we're gonna see hold on let me do this one real quick and see if it it's gonna end up looking the way i need it to look at the very least <laughs> It might work out. I think this is gonna be fine. All right, y'all, I'm down to the last step. I'm about to go ahead and put my gel polish on my very sloppily done nails. And so this brand here, I think I like this brand of things like the dip powder and stuff like that more than I like. Out of all the stuff that I've tried, I think I like that brand a lot better. So I am going to be transitioning my entire like collection or setup here to this beetle this beetles brand i guess um but i'm gonna start off with what i have here first because it was very cheap and it's perfect for beginners because obviously i am not a pro yet i'm not a i'm not a i'm not that good at it just yet but it's good enough it's good enough i feel like this will probably last me a week y'all yeah, my shit be chipping off but anyway yeah, I'm about to go ahead and put on my gel coat, cure it with this lights, and I should be done, ready to walk out of the door to go to the gym. And I won't lie, I kind of don't feel like it, but I'm going to go anyway. My body hurts so bad. I'm so sore. And it's not like I haven't, I've been working out consistently, so how in the world did I get this sore from like the last few days, but whatever. I rather scroll on Pinterest than Instagram and TikTok. I am on Lemonade as well. If you guys don't know what Lemonade is, that is another app that I've discovered. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like a, like a combination of like Pinterest in TikTok. So like you can scroll and there's like content and stuff like that, but it's not, it don't have like all of the advertisements. It don't have all of like the stuff that we don't like now about Instagram and TikTok and these apps, but is more picture based and i think that's what i like that's what i used to love about instagram back then before like all the reels and videos and stuff came along but lemon eight is more picture based and i really really like that so yeah i prefer to scroll on pinterest it's so easy to just type in any kind of category you want to look at and i won't lie it's nice to imagine like what it is that i want my my life not my house my house too but it's nice to be able to kind of like envision what you want your life to look like how you want to like planning things out inspirational boards and stuff like that i just like it i just like it a lot i prefer to scroll on in, uh pinterest than instagram and tiktok and now lemon eight but yeah if you guys like tiktok more that's cool that's you i like i said this is my opinion yeah pinterest for the win i just love looking at the pretty pictures there's been so many inspiring things on there and stuff like that so yeah all right guys that is it that's all i had for this video and just to show y'all how my nails turned out don't laugh either this is my nails and i mean as far as the shape it's okay i kind of cut them lower because i want them to grow out a little bit more but obviously i'm still having a little trouble with that cuticle area i keep flooding them and that's probably why they peel so soon but if you have any tips for me like if you actually know how to do your nails and like this dip powder thing um leave any tips you have down below because they will be greatly appreciated and tried and used and hopefully i get this right at some point but again this is way better than my first and my second time this is like my fourth time doing my nails so i'm getting better I'm getting better but um yeah guys don't forget to subscribe we are on a road to 10k subscribers this year and i can't wait it is absolutely insane how fast i'm seeing the number of subscribers on this channel grow and it makes me feel so good because it's like y'all care about what i'm saying y'all care about seeing me and i love that so 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 much so i really really do appreciate that so if you haven't already just take a quick look if you haven't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button so we can go ahead and hit that 10K milestone together. Make sure you follow me on my other socials, Instagram, Snapchat, Snapchat, ew, 
the fuck? I don't even use Snapchat. Instagram, TikTok, and I'm gonna actually add my lemonade in there because y'all, like I said, I like me some lemonade. I post a little bit on there, so go ahead and follow me over there as well. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye.